Hey everybody, this is Possessed Robot coming to you with a very, well I wouldn't say it's a special commentary, it's just an ordinary commentary in the beginning part of it. Um, I wanted to show you my hanger. Yes, as you can see I still got my mender. But I decided to take out my HE and put my patent in its place. Many of you are probably questioning why? Well, why not? It doesn't have any modules. You don't waste power cells on this thing. It's an old school robot with old school weapons on it, yes, for Punisher at level 10. I keep getting, I have gone to Champions League two times in my game in this account and yes back down to Master League one both times do I suck at this game yes but the point is there's no point in playing any game unless you're having fun well what I've come to learn about my old hangar was I just wasn't having enough fun. And I've, I, I, I was looking through all my robots, all my weapons, nothing seemed to really stand out to me and was cheap enough for me to afford. And then it dawned on me, old school robots and weapons, many of them I don't even have leveled up to maximum. As you can see, my Punishers, which is a basic old school weapon, still at level 10. And my Patton is still at level 9. This is my highest level Patton. I've got more than one. And I got to thinking, you know, why not go back to basics? The basic robots and weapons, are they still fun? They never the fun factor of these robots and weapons the old school stuff never dies out I don't care how fascinating Pixonic tries to throw it at everybody that plays this game making it look like all the new stuff is so much more fun so much more power so much more silver making but the problem with it is Ares, Aljun Invaders this goes on and on with all the new weapons especially the weapons oh my god are you kidding me there's so what's the problem with all the new meta stuff the same problem everybody has too expensive right so and I've I've seen two channels on YouTube that have this thing where they were doing a strike against Pixonic, not buying into um, making purchases with their actual money for robots and weapons. I was sitting here in my apartment looking at this game, looking at old school robots and weapons, and I got to thinking, you know, they were getting Pixonic's idea in the wrong way they were trying to decrease the cost of silver for upgrades on weapons and robots and having everybody not buy stuff well the answer has been simple and nobody's even picked up on it not even me until today when I was looking back at Patton and another part of my my second hanger here, not including um, Strider, this robot doesn't have a module on it. It's a Gareth with a Turan and a Magnum. Yes, they're all level below, way below ten. With a yes, with a pilot on it. I had a hard time getting a decent. Um, skill for it but then you got Raijin 
couple Zeus with its pilot. You got a Death Button Griffin, which I plan on maxing out my pinatas once I'm done with the current weapon. And I got to realizing my pinatas, I mean, you know, level 11 to level 12. It's at 13 million silver. It's one of the cheapest ones in the game. Yes, I've heard Adrian, I've heard Manny, I've heard many experts say it just doesn't do enough damage, doesn't make enough silver. Well, here's my question for everybody who watches this, including Pixonic if they're watching. What's the point of having new stuff if it's just going to cost you 35 million silver or 45 or 55 or who knows how much silver it takes just to upgrade from one level to another? What's the point of it? Whereas old school weapons from level 11 to level 12, whether it's MK1 or MK2, they cost the same on levels when it comes to level 11 to level 12. I got to thinking, the main point of this game is fun. That's the number one rule. If you're not having fun in the game, what's the point? Players are complaining so much left and right every day about the, about the one thing. The economy of this game. The cost of silver it takes to upgrade any weapon from one level to another. Any robot leveling it up. Yet all the old school stuff, it's cheap. So here's my thought on the solution to the economy to get Pixonic's attention. What happens when Pixonic sees that everybody's using the same robot or same weapon all the time? They will, for example, Ares, they're going to be nerfing it, right? But how often do you see pinatas on the battlefield in the higher leagues? Not very often. You hardly even see Patton on the battlefield in the higher leagues. And I'm on iOS. I'm not sure about Android or any other platform. So my idea to pick to everybody watching this you want to get pixonic's attention to lower the economy when it comes to the cost of silver it takes to upgrade weapons and robots that are so expensive go back to old school the more people start using the old older weapons and robots and the cheaper stuff the more they're going to notice we got to fix the economy The more people say no to the new stuff, the more they're going to fix the economy. They're going to see nobody's buying into this stuff because they prefer the older stuff. It's cheaper. Oh yeah, sure. They're going to it's probably going to raise the price of older robots and weapons, but will it? I say let's challenge them. Use the older stuff and uh, see what happens. This is just my opinion and my idea. If you like the idea, leave a comment down below, leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and hit that bell for notification on more videos. You know, I mean, I'm actually, see what I'm planning on doing? Leveling up an older an old school hanger I just haven't decided on everything I want from my old school hanger but I have put a pilot on a on a rhino I spent a fortune on this pilot just trying to get mechanic for it because by the way random skills to retrain a pilot to get new skill don't always go for 
the random another skill because sometimes if you do instead of having to pay 1000 gold for um a new skill that you're actually looking for sometimes you don't always get that skill i actually paid over a thousand dollars just to get mechanic on that pilot for my griffin so it doesn't always work and i came close to paying i i must have paid close to two thousand in gold just getting that one skill that's how bad it was so when it comes to my idea on the economy getting Pixonic's attention just say no to the new stuff nobody said you had to use it nobody said you had to get it either I mean I don't I'm actually planning on going back to basics and using the older stuff just to challenge my player skill level. I'm still in Master League, but and I'm having a hard time getting to gold um Champions League again. But since I'm struggling just to upgrade any robot or weapon from one level to another because it's so darn expensive. I'm going back to basic weapons. Some of the cheaper stuff because they're cheap. Even if they don't cost, a, even if they don't do a whole lot of damage, at least I'm maxing them out and I'm having fun getting them up there. I'm having fun with the game again. Griffins may not be as great as Ravens, but with pilot skills, who knows what happens, you know? And that goes for Raijin, Rhino, even the old school light robots like Gareth, you know? I mean, I've seen a lot of um, players in the higher leagues, whether it's Expert, Master, or Champion League, using some of the older stuff because it, I mean, you're gonna see occasionally players using the older robots. I mean, Adrian and his clan sometimes in their Sunday afternoon um, live stream of his, they sometimes use older robots and weapons. And he even has mentioned in his videos that the older stuff is cheaper. Well, anybody wants to know what I'm gonna start doing? I'm going back to basics using I'm using the older stuff starting with putting my one of my absolute favorite robots and weapon set up in my main hangar and yes I plan on after I get the pinatas maxed out four of them I'll be working on my Punisher and Patton But the reason why I don't do that now is because, let me show you something. Yeah, I have a MK2 level 10 pinata. Only two levels left to go. And I'm planning on maxing it out along with another, along with three more pinatas on and putting it on my Raven for now. Just for now. By the way, like I said again, I do not call this paint skin Raven it's Goldfinch. So, with all that being said, you want to know what I'm planning on with my hanger? This is old school style. But when it comes to going back to the old school light robots, well, we'll have to wait and see. With all this being said, 
I will let's get let's get into some battle. Got a couple of videos that I've used Patton with earlier. One with Spark and one with Punisher.
Here is the pilot with pilot skills for patent. Well, this pat pilot is not for patent, but patents pilot skills. I figured going for mechanic is probably the best place to start considering it doesn't have any healing, no modules, no nothing as far as modules are concerned. So having a mechanic pilot skill would probably be greater beneficial to it right at the moment. Especially considering Patton is not no tank like Fenrir or Falcon and it's not as fast as a Strider. So and it can't heal itself like a mender, so why not start with mechanic? Will it be added add after that? Probably attack skill. <laughs> Thank you.